<risa> y para vos lo estén escuchando. <risa> <risa> hello, hello. Hello. Sorry to be a little late. <laughs> How's everything? How's your day? I'm fine. Okay. Today. Good. Yes. Wonderful. Nice. What about yeah. you, teacher? Oh, excellent. You know, just uh, working as usual, but nice, you know, healthy, thank God. And, you know, just eagerly waiting for, for this class, right? All right. And you, Ricardo, how was the day? Yeah, fine. fine. I, uh, yes, so, uh, we have a hard work because uh, the, um, uh, in, in my in my uh, company, uh, the, the 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 person the 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 sixty years old, we have to to, to, to come back to houses. Ah, okay, that's good. Excellent. I wish I could do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, nice. It's good to rest. You know, then uh, you have more chance and time to practice your English, right? So that is yes, an, uh, an advantage. Hey, William is back. Hello, William. Hi, teacher. How are you? Long time no see. Where have you been? Huh? <laughs> I, I, I was being here yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, uh, practicing. Huh? Or at the beach? Working? Yes, Okay, very good. Okay, so we have uh, Veronica is here, Roxana. Hi. Hello. Claudia. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. Good. Here. Fine. Thank you. Hungry? No hungry? No, I'm fine. Okay, no food. No, no, no hungry. No. <laughs> no wish for food. <laughs> no, I, I. I had the dinner <laughs> before. Before, okay, before good. Class. <laughs> yes, that's good. It's because I I never can concentrate on when I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, I can imagine that. Okay, and now, and now you have to. You cannot eat pupusas in the in the pupuseria, right? So you have to. No, you have to take, you have I. To, you have to take them home. Yeah, big, but I'm. Home officer here oh. in my home. Oh, really? Okay. And I cook in the lunch and the dinner, the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, all cooking for me. <laughs> okay, that's good. That sounds great. Sounds sounds like if you are having, like, you know, like if you were having fun, right? Yeah, I like to cook. Okay. Good. I enjoyed it. Perfect. And eat the, the, the food too. <laughs> okay. that, that's the best thing. That's the best thing, right? You know, to, to try the food. Yeah. Okay, I saw also Ronnie. I saw Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie's there. Too. Hi, teacher. How are you? Where are you? Good. How's our Japan? It's very hot. Very hot? <laughs> oh, well, it's, there is no difference. Hot. San Salvador, yes. and then it's the same, right? San Salvador is, is more light. It's more hot. Yes, it's Huachapan. hotter. It's hotter. Yes. That's it's hotter. Good. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, but I'm ready. ready you're for ready. The class. Great. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Jose, how are you today? Mm, hi. Good evening. Good evening. How was the day? My day. Uh, normally, I think. All right. No problem? No, not, not really. It's very normal. In, okay. In because. Okay. That's great. That's good. Sounds like a normal day then. Okay, and then we have Diego. Diego. But in a store country, it's very difficult today. Oh, yes. Uh, well, not only in the country, no, everywhere. Uh, but in El Salvador, it's, it's worse. <laughs> El Salvador is the worst, like, a, do you know the airport is closed? Definitely. Yes, and then uh, little by little, they will close everything, right? So we have yeah, to be we have to we have to be prepared for not for the worst but for you know to be home more time right so I think oh, but I am really how to say preoccupied worried 
worry about, about the the situation because all the stores that I, I work is closed because it's there in the airport. Mm -hmm. Yes, so they are, you are very concerned about this issue, yeah. about this problem. Yes, yeah, because that's yeah, many businesses are going to close down. Today, I read yeah. that restaurants, uh, restaurants yes, closed uh, bar, bars. only for delivery. Uh -huh, exactly, but it's not the same, right? The, the income. The income is different. Not is different. Uh -huh. So then, in the information commercial, it's so hard for the for all the people. Yes, for the in, informal, right? Informal <laughs> too. Okay, good. Informal business will suffer a lot. You know? Also, the, the entrepreneurs, right? The owners and these people. So yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But you know. Yes, like the like the most, most American people say. What is that? Like a bad connection. It's a it's a bad. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The teacher is problem with the connection. Yeah. Now it's better. Okay, and uh, yes, you know, but I think at the end, in the end, we will we will prevail, right? We will. Do you know the word faith? Do you know the word faith? Eric. Eric. Elizabeth. Uh, Eric. Hello. Eric, please. Eric, answer the phone. The phone, please. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, Eric, yes. Eric, come answer, on, Eric, please. Come on, Eric. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Because you're your friends in the good. class. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, here we go. Okay, good. Then, uh, well, we're going to start today with... Uh, Mm, que ir a ver, si que no tengo los mute the phone. <laughs> okay. Mute the mic. Yes, all right. Mute the mic. Now we're ready. Okay. So we have uh, intermediate. Here we have this one. Okay, good. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, yes. All right, good. So then, yes. um, yes. Jorge yes. Mendoza, would you please read the objective that we have for today? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, 2.6 lesson objective. Learn how to ask and answer indirect question in English. In this lesson, practice using indirect question by discussing a city or a city or new. Uh, New a, city, a new destination. 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 And of this class, you will be able to form polite indirect polite. question. Polite mm -hmm. indirect question, such as, Claude, you tell me where the bank is. Do you know where the, no way over? The, where the nearest? The nearest ATM, ATM is. Can you tell me how to open the bus room? And do you know where I can catch the bus? This lesson will help you seek information using polite, grammatically called English. Okay, very good. So what is the, the main, the principal idea here? Answer indirect questions in English, okay? What is an indirect question in English? Okay, here you can see the example that says, could, Could you, you tell, tell me, me where okay. the bank is? Exactly, right? And what is the direct question? The direct question is? Where is where, the, the bank is? Where is the bank? Okay, where is the bank? Okay, for example, if I ask you, uh, where is, uh, where is Santa Ana? Santa Ana. It's in El Salvador. <laughs> it's in El Salvador, okay. Uh, Santa Ana is in the, let me see, in the, in the west, right? In the in west the, of El Salvador. The west, yeah, for city. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, it's in the, in the west of the city, yes, on the east coast. Okay, and where is, for example, La Libertad? 
is on the Pacific coast. Okay, so this is direct question. Uh, where, for example, where, where do you live? Where do you work? These are direct questions. But you can use, for example, uh, indirect question, which is more polite. Okay, more polite, like this one. That says, uh, it's a word that means that you are educated with good manners, all right? So, do you, do you, for example, you can use, do you know? Could you tell me? Could you tell me what time it is? Okay, no, what time, what time it is. Maha, could you tell me what time it is? Could you tell me what time this class is like, Listen, could you tell me what time this class ends or finishes? At 10. At 10, right? It finishes at 10. Or the direct question, uh -huh. what time does the class finish? This is direct, right? Mm -hmm. I say, could you tell me? Do you know? Okay. So this is, you know, the... Teacher. Yes. A question. Uh -huh. It's not for the, it's como like a impersonation uh, to the doing the, the questions. It's not for a specific person. I think it's just for not. not oh, no, specific. yes, it is. For example, the thing is that it's more, it's more polite if I say, uh, Veronica, where do, you, where do you live? Sounds very, very basic uh, and very direct, very straight, okay? Uh, but if okay. I say, Veronica, could you please tell me uh, where you live? Then you can answer, uh, yes, no, teacher, sorry, you know, I don't, I don't give my, my address to, to anybody because I have some, some personal issues, right? So then you can say that. But this is a, a nice way to say no. Okay? Okay. Uh, said, okay. Said, how I said, then this is, an, 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 this is polite language, right? That you can explain okay. yes, not being so rude. Okay? Okay. Some you can understand. Thank you. Uh -huh. We can use the indirect question. We, we talk with uh, strange people. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Or with your boss. Okay. For example, suppose that you are at the, at the bus station, okay? You don't have a watch, you don't have your cell phone, and you need to know the time, okay? And they say, excuse me, sir, could you tell me what time it is? It's a very polite way to refer to people, right? Or you can be in the, in the bus station, and then you see a lady, and they say, excuse me, mom, uh, do you know where the 205 or the 205 bus stop and they say okay yes then she's gonna tell you where the bus stops okay got it so this is a yeah, way. but also you can use it with your boss uh, with a person that you respect okay when you want to be with a person that you supervise in your office or at work you can also use this kind of uh, this kind of uh, let's say uh, expressions right or questions Good. Okay. Then uh, let's see the next one. We have a video with some examples. And then pay attention and take notes if you consider that you need more uh, explanation at the end of the, of the video. Let me know, okay? For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city.
Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information. If you <coughs> do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be, and we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we'll do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right, and then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case, I will ask where. This is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case, it happens to be the bank. Where is the bank? And then finally, we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now, let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there towards the bottom. Where are the restaurants? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verb. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this uh, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows a WH word. So in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's going to change now. And instead of saying the bank, we're not going to say the restrooms. And then it's going to follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present. We could be talking about the past. And that's what it means by either do or it.
So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay, what we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. And again, we can use the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me? And we're going to use uh, the uh, WH question. So in this case, it's going to be how often. All right. And then that is followed by the subject. So in this case, the subject is buses. And then that is followed by the birth. And so in this case, it's no longer the birth to be, but now it's the birth leave. How often do the buses leave? Could you tell me how often the buses leave? Let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use a polite way of asking. So you can ask in the form of, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Um, and then it just repeats itself with do you know. So in this case, we're going to use do you know. That's the second question there. Do you know what time the bank opens? So let me go ahead and write that example now. Do you know? That follows the WH word. So in this case, is what time? Then that follows the subject. And one thing that I want you to notice here is that in our indirect question, we remove the auxiliary verb. So we don't include does or do. It no longer exists in our indirect question. Do you know what time the bank opens? And the other thing that happens here is that the verb in this case will need to have an S. And that's because since we don't have an auxiliary verb and the subject of the verb is singular and we're talking in the present, therefore we need an S, as you can see there. And uh, well, let's do the last one there. Uh, what, um, when did flight 566 arrive? So in that case, um, the question could be, do you know? And the WH word is when. And uh, the subject is flight 566. And in this case, we have to change the verb to the past because we're not, we're not using an auxiliary. Uh, like we're using the auxiliary, when did fly 566 arrive? In this case, this verb is in the present, but that's because we're using the auxiliary did. So in this case, since we removed that auxiliary verb that I mentioned, we need to change that verb to the past form. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to practice the concepts that we talked about. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pose some questions here. These are common questions that people ask whenever they visit another country, another city, a place you're not familiar with. What are those questions? For example, how much do taxes cost? And remember that our goal is to change this direct questions into indirect questions. And you're going to follow this formula that I gave you. So how much do taxes cost? Well, you can okay. use the you know. All right. Okay, so this is the challenge that we have for today, right? So then to change, this is the direct question. To say how much do taxes cost? Uh, where should I go shopping? Where can I get a map? And where is a good place to meet my friends. Okay, now you you can use, for example, how often, uh, then you can use, for example, here, can you tell me, or do you know? Okay? One volunteer. Or could you tell me, or can you tell me? Okay. And then follow this. Good. One volunteer. Uh, for me, teacher. Okay, go, go ahead. Okay, the first one, 
Uh, can you tell me how much do the taxi cost? Okay, can you repeat that, please? Can you tell me how much the taxi cost? Okay, then could they say, can you tell, like, well, you can use, can you tell me? You can also use, could you tell me, right? But then no problem. Mm -hmm. Always remember that could will sound even more formal, can is less formal, but okay. it's correct. Can you tell me how much the taxes, okay, or taxes without this, can you tell me how much taxes cost? We only eliminate do. Yes? Okay. The auxiliary. Exactly, exactly, right? How about the next one? Where should I go shopping? Uh, do you know? You know, for example, right now I need I need some uh, surgery mask. Surgery mask. Okay. Oh. Do, would you know? Do you know? Okay, do you? Do you? Uh -huh. Do you know where should I go shopping? Okay, do you know or where? You should I go? Question for I... I should go shopping. <laughs> okay, do you know? Uh -huh, Ricardo? Do you know where I should go shopping? Okay, good. Right? Remember that in this case, when there is no auxiliary, because this is a, a modal auxiliary, remember? So here we only switch, okay? We only switch, switch okay? We invert. Where do you know where I go shopping? Okay? For example, uh, if you say, could you tell me where I where I should get some pupusas at this time? Okay. In nowhere because. Uh huh. Nowhere because they are closed, right? Nowhere because yes. the restaurants and these places are closed today. Good. Where can I get them up? Where can uh, I get teacher, um, um, uh, could you tell me where can I get a map? Almost. Just switch. Remember, switch. Get a map. Get the map. Get this um, huh? Do you know? Um, could, can, uh, oh, okay. Do you know? Do you know where can I where? get? Uh, I get I up can. map. I can. Where I can. I can get where a map. I can get where, a map. I, where I can get a map, right? Where I can get, get a map. map. Okay, remember that always the subject will go before. before when it is, for example, if it should, can, would, uh, modal auxiliaries, then you put it before. If it is an auxiliary verb, you only eliminate, you cross out, do. Do you know how much taxes cost? Do you know where I should go shopping? Can you tell me where I can, I can get a map? Get a map. Okay, and the last one? Veronica, tell me. Could you tell me where's a good place to meet friends is? Okay, could you tell me? Could you tell me where's a good place to meet friends is? Where? This one, you repeat this one. Where? 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 Is, uh, where, uh, where, where, where okay. Where Could going? you tell me where a good place to meet friends are? What What are you talking about? <laughs> the friends? I'm yeah. confused. No, 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 it's okay. The, but it's a uh, high Friends or place? It's a place. Uh -huh. Then place. The place is singular or plural? The place is a singular. singular. Okay, singular. so then repeat the question. Can you tell me? Can you tell me where a good place to meet friend is? Okay. That's correct. Oh, the other one that you can use is, could you tell me where there is? 
Okay, there is a good place to meet friends. This is another form to say it, right? That for that correct? Yes, yes, okay. Well, Thank you. And it would be less confusing. Okay, good. Yeah. Where it is. Oh? It is. It is. Where? It is. No, there is. Uh -huh. Could you tell me where, uh, let's say, where there is a good place to meet friends? Okay. Good. Formula. With friends. Okay. Now we have this one. Okay, good. Now, these are the questions that we're going to practice with, right? Could you tell me? Okay. For example, uh, uh, can you see? Can you see this screen? Everybody, can you see? Can you see the pictures right now? No. No. Uh, no. What do you see in this moment? Okay. What do you see in this moment? Uh, Ronnie. Ronnie. Okay. Ronnie. Okay. <laughs> okay. Could you tell me? Okay. Listen to this. Could you tell me where where Jesenia is? Don't say anything. Don't say anything, Jesenia. Be quiet. Be quiet. Don't say. I'm here. Yes. Where? Can you repeat the question, please? Could you tell me? Could you tell me where Jesenia is? Yes, Jesenia is. Jesenia is in in her house. <laughs> in her house, right? Okay, good. Yeah. Are you in your house, Jesenia? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. 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 Let's say uh, he's doing. For example, what is Jose doing? Direct question, right? Do you know what he is doing? Do you know what Jose know. is doing? Uh -huh. I don't know what Jose is doing now. Okay. I don't you know Jose. I don't know what <laughs> We Jose don't is have an idea. <laughs> uh -huh. We don't have any idea, any idea what he is doing. Okay. Uh -huh. We don't have any idea. For example, this is another question that you can use. Do you have any idea? Do you know? Do you have any idea what Jorge Mendoza is doing? Probably he should taking classic English classes. Okay, he's pro <laughs> he's probably sleeping. Ah, no, he's <laughs> <laughs> So he's probably, you know, he's studying, right? He's studying, he's, he's taking his English class. Okay, but I said, but do you have any idea? Do you know? Could you tell me? Okay, all these are uh, possible answers, right? Good. Okay. Now, questions in this moment? No question. Okay, Xiomara, could you tell us, could you tell the group, okay, what, what you did this afternoon? Could you tell the group what you did this afternoon? I worked this afternoon. Okay, I worked this afternoon. Good. Diego, uh, let's say that, do you know, sir, do you know what Xiomara did this afternoon? She works this afternoon. She worked this afternoon. Okay, very good. Yes. Now, uh, let me see another one. Uh, Jorge Lemus, George. Uh, do you know? Do you know where? Let me see. Do you know where I parked my car? <laughs> Your car is parked in the garage. In the garage, okay. Your car is parked in front of your house, okay. Your car is parked in the street. Okay, you can invent the answers, right? For example, uh, Gio, 
do you in future? You can use in future, past, present, any tense. Do you, do you do you know what uh, what I am going to have for breakfast tomorrow? Uh, no, I don't have any idea. Maybe two eggs, <laughs> yes. chorizo, and yeah. and frijoles. Uh, yes, beans. Be <laughs> Be yes, beans, sausages. Beans, and yeah. What else? And eggs, right? Bread. And, yeah. and a cup of coffee. And really. a cup of hot a coffee. A continental right? breakfast. Continental <laughs> breakfast. No. <laughs> it's better. I, I prefer the eggs. No. Right? Yes. A, a typical one, a typical one. Typical. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Then uh, you see, for example, you can use, do you know, do you have an idea? Okay. For example, also you can use, uh, can you remember? Can you remember? For example, can you remember when we started this course? The last week, uh, on Monday, the last week. <laughs> okay, we 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 start, we start, we start uh, studying the last month, the the the, the, the last week. Okay, we start Monday. The this course, this course, last Monday, right? Last Monday. Last week. Monday, last week on Monday. Monday. Uh, la last week on Monday. Yeah, okay. okay, yes. Can you remember? Okay, can you remember when, when you, you go out with your friends? Uh huh. Okay. A long, long time ago. The, before Over. the quarantine. <laughs> the, the, yes, exactly. okay. Can you remember the last, the last time, time you went yeah. out with your friends before the quarantine? Before the quarantine. Uh huh. Can you remember that? Uh, no. Okay. Yes. Yes. On Friday. <laughs> last, last Friday. Last Friday. Okay. Last Friday. Yeah. Can you remember when you met your first uh, girlfriend or boyfriend? Uh, nobody. Nobody speaks. Nobody. Yes, speaks. I remember. <laughs> I don't remember my first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Short memory. Short memory. Short memory. Short memory. Short memory. <laughs> nobody remembers. No comment about that topic. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen are not memory. <laughs> yes. oh, come on, I just met your first girl. Okay, good. You see, you I can answer. remember my girlfriend. You can remember not even your girlfriend, okay? Yes. Okay, good. But you see, uh, in these kind of questions, you can answer in different ways, right? You can answer in a structured way. For example, uh, yes, I remember that I met this is the, let's say, uh, a typical answer. Yes, I remember I met my first girlfriend when I was in second grade, okay? Right. It, was my it was my teacher. <laughs> she was my teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay, you can say, for example, this is, I re oh yes, I remember the first time I met my first girlfriend. It was when I was in uh, ninth grade, in ninth grade. Okay, it was at the end of the year in ninth grade. Ah, okay, so you remember that. So you can answer in different ways. Okay, good. Okay. So then uh, I will uh, will ask you to work in groups for five minutes more or less, and then uh, just uh, if you want write one or two questions. You see, do you have any idea? Do you know? Could you tell me? Can you remember? Okay, any idea? Okay, but remember that you're going to use the second part of the question in affirmative form, okay? The question is in the first part of the question, okay? Just uh, let me, okay, yeah, here we go. Oops. Teacher. Yes, sir. Okay, just yes, uh, let me, uh... Let me make you a question. Yes. Okay, we are talking about um, any time, okay? Future, okay, for example, I, I can say, when did you decide this, for example? When, when you repeat the, the question? When uh, did you decide this? Okay, when, past, okay. when uh -huh. did you? When, when did you decide this? Uh -huh. That is the, the direct question. Okay, now what, okay. Is, uh -huh, what is the indirect question? Can you tell me? Tell me how. When, when can you, you tell me when you decided this? Okay. 
Okay. Okay, got it. I got Can it. you remember when you decided this? Okay. Good. Okay, okay. Perfect. Here you go. Okay. Okay, so just join the group. Loading. Hi. How are you? Good. Uh, no uh, problem. The view. With what? It's... What is the problem that you have? Um, can you can, did you get the, the invitation? Uh, the la pantalla de mi laptop está dando problemas, teacher. Ah, okay. Este de repente se pone así como con rayitas y no logro ver el video, eh, eh, conectarme. Okay, good. But you can but you can hear. Yes, okay, yes. All right. Okay. So then I will send you to um. Uh, to a group and then you can practice you don't need to, to see, just know. listen okay 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 all right good then you're gonna get an invitation and see if you can probably see it and then you can okay click. you got it no le digo la invitación Yes. Okay. Then accept it and go to the group. I don't remember kindergarten. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe in. <laughs> maybe in ninety. Ninety. Three? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> okay. That's a good. <laughs> mm. Mm. A ver. Uh, could you uh, tell me, I don't know, when this no sé cómo se dice, pero quarantine. Quarantine. Over. Quarantine. 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 Sorry. It will be over. Will over. Will be over. Do you know will when be... this quarantine will be over? Okay. Pero está bien dicho, could you tell me? Yes, it is. Well, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. I'm lost. <laughs> I'll repeat it again. Repeat it. Could you tell me when the quarantine mm -hmm. will be over? 
Perfect. Good question. <laughs> the, the quarantine final in 20 will, will be days. over. The quarantine will be over. It will be over. Final. Over. In the over is finished. Over is finished. Ah, okay. Over in 21 days. Okay. No sé, I mean. Probably. Uh, <laughs> yes. Probably. Probably. I hope so. Yes, I hope so. I hope, so. yeah. I have, yeah. Okay, good. No questions? Okay. Um, Do you know when uh, the airport opened? Okay. Uh -huh. um, Do you know when? Okay, because these are probably in the future, right? Do you know when will uh, uh, when the air when the airport will open? Do you know when know. the airport will open? I don't know. <laughs> probably, probably fifteen yeah. days. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Okay. <laughs> para decir aproximadamente. Approximately. 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 Approximately mm. in 14 days. Okay. Hopefully in 14 days. In 14 days. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. Approximately. Okay. Maybe. Okay. These are expressions that you can use. Okay. Good. Yeah. Keep on practicing. Right. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Is how, how, uh, do you know how many restaurants in the in the Paseo del Carmen are? Uh, no, I don't know. It's like a uh, twenty restaurant, maybe. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. About. <laughs> okay. But it's not. It's is an uh, exactly number. Yes. Yeah, so for Ronnie, for Ronnie, uh, that, 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 uh, Ronnie doesn't know uh, where where is the the Paseo El Carmen. <laughs> Would you recommend a restaurant for Paseo El Carmen? Uh, a pupusaria. I recommend <laughs> a pupusaria. <laughs> yes, uh, but the place maybe Harvard. It's only one. I don't visit the other. Really. Yeah. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Is the Paseo del Carmen open tonight? Uh, I don't know exactly, but for the information and the news, uh, is probably is closed All right. today. Yes. Also, also, the Cafe Talon is closed. So everything yes. is closed. Parks and everything. Yes. Okay. We, we read, yes, we read but on the, the newspaper but today. But the parks, but the in news, the parks, San Martin and Daniel Hernandez is closed. Yes, it's I guess. near to oh. the, it's near to the Paseo del Carmen. Yes, that's true. Oh. Okay. The San Martin yeah. Park, I, I know it. <laughs> you pass there every day. <laughs> yes, in the bus. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Nice. Keep on practicing. Okay. To the communities. Okay. It's hard to you, but it's a great, great work, right? Yes. That's the reason. Okay, guys. Any questions? Mm, no, for me. No. Okay. So I think this this teacher is uh -huh. is, is the, the way to to, to sound uh, fluency, very fluency, right? Fluent and polite. Okay. Fluent and polite. And then you don't you don't say this the same question. Remember that if I say for example, what is your name? It's very basic. Okay. Basic. okay. What's your name? But if you, if I ask you, say for example, um, well, you tell me. You tell me what is your name? Could you tell me what your name is? Okay. Could you say? Uh, but but uh -huh. but okay okay, I have a question right there. You say, could you tell me what your name is, right? Uh huh. But you also say, but you can also say, will you tell me what is your name? Or is 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 it incorrect? No, it's correct. Say, would you tell me that? There is a little difference, right? Okay, mm -hmm. tell me what your name is or not. 
Okay, it's a very polite way to say, okay, would you? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because I understand. Tell, suppose understand. you don't want to tell me your name. Okay, look. Okay. Okay. Would you, would you tell me what your name is or not? Because we don't want to waste time here, right? If you don't want to say it. Cool. No could is cool polite. And, and cool would and is cool. What is the difference? Sorry. Would will sound like, for example, like a little more, uh, you know, a little threatening, right? Hey, would you tell me your name? Would you stop? Would you stop doing that? Okay, so say uh, or not. Would you tell me what your name is or not? You know something. Okay. Like, hey, do you want to do it or not? But in the other case, could okay. you tell me? It's a it's a polite way. The first question. Okay. Hey. Um. Hey, nice to meet you. Could you tell me what your last name is? Oh, sure. My not my last name is Adrian. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. So then this is okay, know, okay. more polite. And the other one is, for example, hey, what's your name? And you don't, uh, I don't want to tell you my name. Okay, then I insist, okay, hey, what, what's your name? And then you say, okay, no, I don't want to tell you my name. Okay, okay, listen, would you tell me your name or not? You say, no, okay, okay. don't worry, let's leave it like that. Okay, you see, sounds like, you know, like more, with more authority, right? And cool is more polite. Okay, cool. Now, you can say can. Okay. You can say can. You can say can and it's informal. Can you tell me okay, what you okay. mean? Okay, that's informal. Can and could is better in this case. Okay, than would. Okay, okay. All right. Good. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, keep on practicing, right? Okay. It's a little. Okay. Little, Hello, guys. Little. How are you fine? Hello, Hello, teacher. Hey, teacher. Hi, my teacher. How are you? The, the William William had disappeared. Okay, <laughs> William, could you tell yes. us, could you tell us where you have been all these days? Um, why, why you have been so quiet? Yesterday I I had homework because the yes I I had I had work homework. From the university yes yes okay are you studying at the university what are you studying at the university yes okay. yes I, can you tell us I what you studying. what you are studying can you Repeat. tell us can you tell us uh, diego and Gio and me what you are studying what career Ah, oh, yes. International business at the okay. University Technological. Technological University. Hey, Technological. Excellent. Yes, okay. yes. That's good. International business. International business, yes. So this man is, make, wants to make money, okay? Well, <laughs> then. <laughs> okay, then give, give Diego and, and, and Gio a couple of tips, okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Now we're going to go back to the to the main station because it's almost time. Okay. Right. Okay. See you there. Hi, Gio. Hey. Hey there. You are the first and return the meeting. Uh, who? I think so. Me? And you? Gio. Hi, it's that Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Is all the meeting? Mm, is the oh, you return the meeting. You return the meeting. Yes. Ah, ok. Everybody. Ok. Hi, apostilla. Hay <laughs> que solo conocidos, miraba. <laughs> okay. No, but that's good. I, I, I like when you start talking in English, ok? That's good, you know. If you're speaking English, no problem. You can, you can talk, ok? That's nice. <laughs> practice, practice. That's what you need. Remember that the important, important thing is to uh, improvise. 
For example, when you start talking uh, in a, let's say, in a spontaneous, spontaneous way, is the best way to do it. This is a, that's the best practice, okay? Because if you say something in this moment in English, sounds good because it's your, it's your production, okay? It's not something from the book, it's not something from the platform, okay? It's your English, okay? So sometimes it's good to, to practice. Congratulations. Okay. Um, Chico, could you tell us uh, how to improve your vocabulary? How to improve your vocabulary? Okay, the only way for me, the only way to do it is reading and speaking. Reading and speaking, because when you read, uh, when you read uh, in English, then you get vocabulary. But what happens when you have vocabulary, but you don't use it? Okay, so the thing is to put it into practice. For example, uh, suppose, how do you say canica in, in, in English? Yes. Um, ball is small. Canica. Uh -huh. Ball is small. A little ball. A little ball. Ball is small. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? Now, canica. Okay. Is this is for example. Translating English. A uh, high marble. 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 Okay. Hey, the thing is, for example, that this vocabulary sometimes you can find it only when you play with children or when you read books about children, okay? And then, for example, if now, you can, now you, but now, now that you know marble, use it in a sentence. It's like the comic. Huh? The, the no, no, word no, is like the comic. No, no, exactly, no. Huh? For example, with, okay, tell me a oh. word using, tell me a sentence using marble. Have you seen marble? I, 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 I used to play marble when I was a child. Yes, yes because I was a child. I used when to I play marbles when I was, when I was a child. Okay, yes. and then in that moment, you begin to learn yes. new vocabulary. Now you okay. have marble and you repeat marble in a, in, a, in a sentence that is yours. I used to play marbles when I was a little kid. I used to play marbles in the street with my friends, okay? Uh, I, I, lost, used, I used to have I lost okay. a lot of marble. Uh -huh. I, I, lost, I lost, lost a lot of marble in my childhood. Okay. So use you see, it's a different way to use the word. Another one is, for example, uh, how you say uh, uh, on dia. Remember the on dia? Yes. Yes. But I don't know how do you say in English. Uh -huh. Remember. The is, for example, the, you know, have you, read, have you, do you remember David and Goliath? Slingshot. Yeah. yeah. Ah, who say that? Slingshot. A sling. A slingshot. A slingshot. Slingshot. Okay. Slingshot. Okay. For example, slingshot. David. David killed Goliath because he picked up three pebbles. Okay. Three pebbles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tres piedrecitas, like pebbles, like the, the like the Flintstones. Ah. Oh, three, pebbles? three marbles. Uh -huh. Three marbles. No, no, marbles, no. Pebbles. 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 Pebbles, pebbles is a piedrecita, right? Uh -huh. That's the name of pebbles in Spanish. Okay. Uh -huh, the pebbles. Pebbles, then he, uh, then Now he, everybody, everything uh -huh. is going to be made. Uh, exactly. tiene sentido. And now everything makes sense, right? Now yes. everything, makes everything is yeah. makes sense. Yes. Remember, for example, Popeye, Popeye, mm -hmm. Popeye. No, no Popeye, Popeye. What is Popeye? Oh, salido. Uh -huh. Saltones. Popeye. Es un ojo saltón. If you see the cartoon, uh -huh. if you see Popeye, you will see his eyes, and then make sense, right? Uh -huh. then, then this what it means. So this vocabulary, for example, is, uh, this is the way that you learn vocabulary, right? Going back to okay. little things like that. And when you have a new word, put it in a sentence. Put it in a sentence that you do in your life, because then you will remember. For example, I was terribly bad, and I was really bad at using the slingshot. I, I, I always keep my finger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was, okay. I was bad. I was bad using, you know, at using the, the slingshots. I, yeah. I couldn't. Slingshot? I, what is the slingshot? It's a, yeah. it's a weapon. 
It's a weapon that we use. Yeah. <laughs> I know when we were little <laughs> kids. A, a Salvadorian you, weapon. It's a Salvadorian, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, let's say a prehistoric <laughs> weapon <laughs> <laughs> that we made of rubber. Uh, it was hecha yeah. de hule and leather, right? Yeah. And cuero, right? Mm, rubber I don't and know leather. what is that. You don't know, Veronica? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> you never heard about the idea. <laughs> Un día, no. Okay. What is the, the word? A slingshot. In English? Ah, a slingshot. No, I never heard that. Slingshot. 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 Okay, good. Okay. So then this, is, you know, for example, this is the way, the best way to practice vocabulary is getting a word and then put it in into your vocab, into your uh, everyday, let's say everyday activities, right? Every day. So, but if you only say the word and repeat it and repeat it, uh, you will forget it, okay? But the idea is to interiorize the vocabulary and to remember okay. or retain the word for a long time, okay? Uh, I will find a way to, I have a, I have like, have you seen for, have you, uh, have you heard about the Jack and the Beanstalk? Frijoles Magicos, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, have, I, have the, I, I have the book, and the book is like eight pages. Uh -huh. I don't know if it is for... The Giants. Uh -huh. Maybe. Let me see if I can find a way to, to send you that material, because I have the audio, the audio, and I have the book. And the book oh, is only right. like eight, eight or nine pages. It's very... But there is a lot of vocabulary for children, okay, in, those, okay. Oh, in okay. the book. Well, there are, there are I have my books. Let me see if I can send it through WhatsApp tomorrow and I will send it to you. If not, okay. I will find another way to, to do it, okay? Okay. 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 Well, thank you, teacher. Uh, yeah, good. Okay. Then this is the end of this section two. Tomorrow we will start with adjectives, okay? So adjectives to describe, uh -huh. section three. Please uh, take a look at section three because tomorrow we're, I'm gonna give you vocabulary about adjectives and how to describe your house from inside house. And from inside house. and from outside oh, you can also describe uh, your office uh, a building okay using a uh, different adjective to describe this kind of uh, place okay? okay 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 everybody have a good night okay good night everybody Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night.